The first WrestleMania set the stage for everything that was to follow. All the way around the world, now you know what it's all about, brother. Celebrities were out in full force, showing that this was the place to be. WrestleMania II pushed the boundaries, taking place in three different locations, New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles, delivering three huge main events. But it would be WrestleMania III in 1987 that truly displayed WrestleMania's full potential. And for our first match of the 2K24 Showcase of the Immortals, we go into the first verified WrestleMania classic, the legendary clash for the WWE Intercontinental Championship between champion, the macho man Randy Savage, and his challenger, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Intercontinental champion since February of 1986, Savage tore through anyone who challenged him. That included a successful defense against George the Animal Steel at WrestleMania II. A clash between Savage and Steamboat during a late 1986 edition of Superstars would see the Macho Man retained via countout, but that wasn't good enough. He would launch a vicious attack on the Dragon after the match, taking him out of action. Savage would attempt to duplicate the attack on Steamboat's friend and former opponent George Steele during the first Saturday night's main event of 1987. Fortunately for the animal, Ricky would make his well-timed return for the save, leading to the rematch between the two at WrestleMania. What transpired between the two combatants can only be described as art. A fast-paced, high-action classic unfolded in front of 90,000-plus in attendance, with both men coming so very close to victory on a number of occasions. Would Savage be able to turn back the challenge of his angry opponent? Would Ricky Steamboat get revenge? These questions would be answered over the next 15 grueling minutes, and when it was over, everyone in attendance and those watching at home knew they had been a part of something special. The two superstars would forever be etched in history following the match, with Ricky Steamboat finally putting an end to the Macho Man's historic reign. It was all action from the moment the bell rang, and these two didn't give each other a second to rest. Back and forth battle, with no one really able to maintain any type of control in the early portion of the match. The Macho Man appeared almost thankful to get a moment to himself after dumping Steamboat back to the floor, letting you know that Savage understood he was in a fight unlike any other he'd been in before. Things were only getting started. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Macho Man was trying everything, and that included fighting dirty. But Steamboat continued to have an answer at every turn. And Savage's frustration led to him making a big one, charging at Steamboat only to be backdropped to the floor. Steamboat finally had a huge opportunity to pour on the pressure and put Savage away. 